Hey, what's happening, guys? We are back with the Elenco multimeter. And today we are working on section D, resistance and buzzer circuit. So it looks like we'll be putting in just a few resistors, a couple of capacitors, and a buzzer. So let me get everything I need ready and we'll get started. All right, we are going to get started with the buzzers. I know it's a little further down in the list, but um, someone had written in and told me that when they built this kit, they had trouble with the buzzer soldering it. So we're going to see if we can manage to get it in there. Uh, let's, zoom, let's zoom. There we go. We zoom in on the buzzer to make sure we get enough room here to work. And we do. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coat those pads a little bit of flux and then I'm going to just very lightly tin them Just enough solder to cover the pads. That's all I want. Good. Now we can put the disc on here. And again, we're going to use lots of flux. This actually might need to clamp down. All right, now there's one side. This is going to be really hot. So if you have uh, heat sensitive fingers, you might not want to do this. Okay. There's one side down. Now we'll put some solder on the other side. Then we'll Come on, get in there. Okay. So now we're supposed to take a discarded lead and solder into that hole and onto the center of the board. But I see a problem. Okay, it's this hole here, and I am over too far. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because this is made out of brass, is I'm gonna increase my soldering iron temperature up to like 360 that's gonna help next thing I'm gonna do is get a pair of forceps or locking clamps or whatever you want to call them what I want to do here is just break this there we go just like that hope I got it good now same thing here that's what I want to get it off so what I'm going to do now I'm 
is I'm going to retin those two spots. Oh, something fell. That's the way it goes, right? All right, so we'll get a nice solder blob there. One here. And then we're supposed to solder something onto that center piece. Let me show you the instructions. All right. This feels to me like there's a, a sticker on it, but it doesn't say to remove that, so let's see what we can do. I ain't gonna stick to that. Not at all. Let me let that cool for a minute. Alright, that sticker or whatever it is does not seem to want to come off. So I'm gonna try a little bit of um, ruby fluid here. It's just a different type of flux. Maybe it will help. Although I doubt it. That ain't coming off. And the reason that ain't coming off is because that ain't metal. All right, I scraped the crap out of that. Let's see if we can tin it now. I mean, I've got a ton of solder on that iron. I know this isn't going to work. I'm just grasping at straws. Yeah. All right, well. Then I am afraid this is where we stop today until I can figure out how in the heck I'm going to solder something onto that when it won't take any solder. If you know, let me know. And otherwise, hmm, don't know exactly what to do. I looked on the internet and I couldn't find anything, so... I'm going to call a link. I believe there's a, there's a phone number. Yeah, there's a phone number. And uh, we'll come back. All right, guys. Sorry and much going on in this video. But uh, give me a thumbs up anyway if you enjoyed it. We'll be back next time and see if we can't figure out what's going on here. That's it. I'm out. Peace.